If you're a new Amazon seller, understanding how to create and optimize PPC campaigns is one of the most complicated but most important parts of building and growing an Amazon FBA business. So in today's video, what I wanna do is give you guys a complete breakdown of how to create an automatic campaign and optimize the automatic campaign. Let's get into it. What's up champs, welcome to today's video. My name is Sharon Peterson, I'm a full-time seven figure Amazon seller. And in today's video, I'm super excited to break down how to create an automatic PPC campaign and not only just create it, but how to optimize it. Before we dive into the video, the complete breakdown, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe, drop a comment. And without further ado, let's come over here and what I wanna talk about first is what is PPC? Just give you guys a basic understanding to help you understand what PPC is and why it's important. So if you come to amazon.com and we search for the keyword black shelf, you'll see right here that there's a sponsored ad for black shelf. So what this seller is doing is they are targeting this keyword of black shelf or Amazon is recommending this product as a sponsored ad. And if I click on it, that seller will get charged per click. So PPC stands for pay per click. So PPC advertising, pay per click advertising, this seller does not get charged unless I click. So the goal with PPC is to show your product up at the very top of the page, get customers to click on it to then buy it. And if they buy it, that's going to boost your organic rank. So that is the whole goal of PPC is to help drive more sales. The more sales you can drive, the heavier and more rank you're going to maintain for the organic keywords that you're ranking for. So that is the whole purpose of PPC. And now what I wanna do is show you how to actually create a campaign. So right here, we're gonna to go to our Seller Central account. You're gonna to go to the Advertising tab. You're gonna hit Campaign Manager. From there, it's going to ask you to choose your campaign type. I'm going to select Sponsored Products. From there, it's going to give me an ad group name. So I'm going to call this uh, Black Shelf. We'll say I'm selling a Black Shelf and I'm going to say that it's auto. So this is just basically for me internally, for me to um, know, okay, this is the campaign that is associated with Black Shelf and it's an automatic campaign. So that's kind of how I do the ad group. Then I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to select the product. So we'll just say that this flower pot is a Black Shelf. And then once I have that selected, I'm gonna scroll down to the targeting method. And this is where you're going to select automatic targeting. Um, later on, if you guys want a manual targeting video, um, let me know in the comments down below. But right now we're gonna be focusing on automatic targeting. From there, I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna to come to the set default bid. Right here, it suggests $1.56. And so you can click on that and you can do what they suggest. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go one cent over and the whole goal of an automatic campaign and to kind of break what an Amazon, uh, not Amazon, what an automatic campaign is, it says right here, Amazon will target keywords and products that are similar to the product in your ad. So essentially what you're doing is letting Amazon decide, hey, what keywords does Amazon think are, are relevant to my product? What other products do Amazon think that are relevant? And Amazon will be the one choosing where your product is showing up. So this is letting Amazon kind of do their thing and Amazon's algorithm, their AI technology is incredible. So they basically go in and find the keywords that are in your title, your bullet points, find related products, and then they display and advertise your products on those different keywords and products. So that's what an automatic uh, campaign is. And the whole goal and purpose of an automatic campaign for me is to help find what is working and what is not. So it's basically we're finding and just mining different keywords. We're looking for different keywords that we can then plug into a manual campaign, which we'll talk about later. So that is an automatic targeting campaign. I wanna set the default bid just a penny above and again, I'm just trying to get the data and then from there, I'm gonna take that data and make an educated decision on what I'm going to do with those certain keywords that I find are working and converting in this automatic campaign. So I understand I might be talking of, uh, about things that you might not quite understand. Don't worry, I'm going to explain a little bit more. PPC is a little complicated, but it just takes a little bit of time to kind of get familiar with. Once you understand it, it becomes a lot easier, okay? So if this is your first time hearing anything about PPC, don't worry, we're gonna keep going um, and break things down. So this is the default bid. Essentially, what that is going to do 
is that is the most money you will spend per click. So again, every time somebody clicks on your ad, um, you are going to be you, you are willing to spend at least a dollar and fifty seven cents. Now this product sells for sixty bucks, so a dollar fifty seven per click is not that bad. Whereas if you had a product that was like eight dollars, you might not want to be as aggressive on that default bid because if you spend basically two bucks a click and your product is eight dollars. Well, that's a quarter, that's 25% of um, your product, okay? So that is kind of how you set up the default bid. Again, they suggest it. I'm just going to go one cent over it. Now, right here, we're going to see negative keyword targeting and negative product targeting. And this is actually super important um, when it comes to optimizing. Right now, we don't have any information, so we're not going to put anything in. But once we go in and pull reports, we're going to plug it into negative keyword targeting and negative product, uh, product targeting, okay? So remember that. Um, here in a couple minutes, we'll break that down when it comes to the optimization side of things. Then it's gonna come to the campaign bidding strategy. This is where you can do dynamic bids uh, down only, dynamic bids up and down, fixed bids. For me, what I like doing just on this first initial um, automatic campaign, I'm gonna do dynamic bids down only, which means that I'm not going to spend more than this dollar and 57, where if I did dynamic bids up and down, Amazon will actually spend more than that dollar and 57 budget or that dollar and 57 uh, default bid. So I'm going to click dynamic bids down only. Then we're gonna come over here and give it a, a campaign name. I'm just going to call it black shelf. And then the start date is today. I'm gonna to put no end date and I'm going to put at least 25 bucks, uh, 25 bucks just to get things going. Um, and then I'm not going to launch it to other marketplaces unless you do have the product in other uh, marketplaces. From there, I'm going to hit launch campaign and it is simple as that to create your first automatic campaign um, inside your Amazon Seller Central account. So that is how to create it. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to have that campaign run for a few days and you're going to get as much data as humanly possible and that's the power of these automatic campaigns is we're trying to mine and find different keywords that are performing well. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna exit out of here and we're gonna come over here to the measurement and reporting tab. So once you launch the campaign, you have it up and going for a few days, you'll have data and information that you can actually pull reports for. So I'm gonna come right here, measurements and reporting. Then I'm gonna come right here to reports. And this is where you're actually going to create and generate a complete report. If you guys have uh, a software tool like Helium 10, um, Adtomics, you actually don't have to do this. Um, so for the first little bit, this is what I was doing. Now I don't really do this. Um, if you don't want to pay for the software, then you do have to do this manually. Where with softwares, it literally saves a ton of time and you don't have to do this manually. But if you don't have a software, then you're going to come right here and hit create report. And you're going to come right here, sponsored products. You're going to do report type, um, which is search term. And you're going to do the last 30 days. And it might be um, like the last seven days, depending on how long you have run it. Then you're going to hit run report and it's going to pull up an Excel sheet that looks something like this. I kind of doctored this up to uh, make it more applicable to um, this particular product, but you guys are gonna kind of understand uh, kind of the importance of why you would actually generate and run these reports. So once you create the report, you're going to download it and it's going to show your campaign name, add group name, targeting, match type, customer search term, um, impressions, clicks, cost per click, spend uh, seven day total sales, and then your ACOS. Now, this might sound super complicated, but we're gonna break it down uh, row by row and just simplify the process and help you understand why this information is actually important. So with the automatic campaigns, Amazon is going in and actually finding keywords and products that they think are relevant and displaying your ads in front of the those potential customers. And what these reports are, uh, these reports that we generate do for us is help us understand what are the keywords that Amazon is picking and what are the, the, the products that Amazon is targeting. So right here, you'll see this customer search term, you'll see that shelves home, um, it's misspelled. You'll see that we got one click, we spent 24 cents, it didn't result in any sales. So we're like, okay, I'm that that's fine, I'm not going to worry about that. But if we come down here, you'll see that this ASIN, which that's basically a product that Amazon was targeting, 
um, you'll see that it got 2,600 uh, impressions and it got 13 clicks at uh, 22 cents per click. I spent $2.89 and I generated multiple sales from it. So my ACoS was 5.4%. So when I look at that, I'm like, okay, this is a good product that I want to go in and target. So what I would do is I would take that, um, this ASIN and I would go create a manual campaign targeting this specific ASIN doing a product targeting campaign. We're not going to dive into that campaign yet, um, or at least for today's video, but that is what you're going to do with these reports is you find what is working, what is not and what is working, you want to put into a separate manual campaign and target that specifically, because if you know that, hey, I got 13 clicks, I spent $2.89 and I got $53 in sales, well, you bet you that I wanna create another campaign um, and, and target this specific ASIN. Right here again um, is another, um, an, another ASIN that performed well. Um, I got one click spent 14 cents, I got one sell at a 1.4% ACoS. Right down here um, is white shelf for room decor. I got 108 clicks, so that is a lot of clicks, a lot of impressions, a lot of clicks. I spent $24 and my total sales was only 28. So my ACoS was a little high. So what I would do is I know that, hey, this keyword is converting. I would copy this customer search term and I'd go put it into the negative search term inside your automatic campaign. So remember when I was talking about the, the negative search term, this is where you would actually copy this and put it into that negative search term. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell Amazon to not target that specific keyword in the automatic campaign. And instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a separate campaign and target this keyword and I'm going to drop my bid. So instead of my cost per click being around uh, 23 cents, I'm going to drop it to like 18, maybe 17 cents. So I'm not spending as much and hopefully this A cost, I can drop it down from 87% to maybe around 30% or 50%. If I can drop that, then that is a win um, in this certain situation. So that is what you're going to do with these reports is, um, I'll, I'll give you guys one more example, home office shelf. So we got 32 clicks, I spent 21 cents per click um, and I got $29 in sales. My ACoS is 22%, so there, that is a good keyword that I want to pull out of my automatic campaign and I'm going to put into my manual campaign. And at the same time of doing that, I'm going to put this keyword inside a negative keyword exact match on the automatic campaign. Now, that might sound confusing, but I hope you guys grasp that concept of creating an automatic campaign to get valuable information like this to then take it to then create other campaigns to target these keywords that are performing or not performing. And if you can do this and optimize every single week, maybe every single couple of days, that is how you're going to create profitable PPC campaigns. And that is how you're going to continue ranking your product organically to page two, page one. And that is where you're going to start raking in the sales. So PPC does take time to understand. Go in, create your first PPC campaign. If you guys are looking for more help, more in-depth uh, videos about PPC, I have a complete A to Z mentorship program where we'll actually guide you through the entire process. We'll show you how to create these campaigns um, further in depth. If you guys want to check that out, go to amzchampions.com. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something new. And if you did, like the video, subscribe, drop a comment, and we'll see you in the next video.